Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to manage multiple live streams using OBS Studio. Now, what I mean by that is if you're using multiple platforms to stream your content, you will not necessarily have the exact same overlays, the exact same settings, the exact same setup. And even if you're using the same exact platform, but stream on multiple accounts, you will still need to have some changes if ever the content that you're live streaming is not exactly the same. And this is gonna be a very quick tutorial because this is really not complicated. I'm gonna show you right now inside of OBS how you can quickly switch in between those settings and overlays and everything. So let's get right into it. First of all, you want to open up your OBS, of course. And right here we have uh, OBS, I'm gonna go full screen. Okay, so um, right here in the scenes panel, you can see I have my scenes already set up this is my main twitch account well this is the scenes for my main twitch account scene I'm just gonna keep it in test so we don't get distracted and the way this works is that the presets are separated in two parts the first part is the settings you will be able to save presets for your settings that means everything on this setting panel so general the way you like your obs uh your stream streaming services, where you choose to stream um, from Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and all those options. And here you have your stream key, your stream server. I'm in Paris, so it's EU Paris, and I'm not gonna show you my stream key. The output, so video resolution, encoder, uh, recording, audio, every single setting, video output, your shortcuts or hotkeys, and everything advanced. So all of that, you can save presets. And where you can do this is right here in profile. So as you can see, I stream on many different platforms. Uh, here you will have my Facebook on my level photography account. Gal Basic is my main Twitch account. Gal Video Cam is when I'm using OBS only to record myself. And Twitch Connect is another account that I manage on Twitch. So on my Gal Basic account, you will see that I have um, under the stream panel, I have service, Twitch, EU Paris, and then I have my stream key. But if I switch to my, let's say my Facebook. So now all the settings have been replaced by the my Facebook account settings. Go here into settings. If I go to stream, boom, you will see Facebook Live. Uh, server doesn't really matter. Um, and my stream key. Keep in mind that on Facebook, um, your stream key is always changing, so you will still have to manually copy paste your, your stream key when you're going live. My output and everything, and you will see my hotkeys. I do not have any, oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't change the hotkeys, I guess. Okay, so that was that was my bad. That was a mistake on my part. Uh, the hotkeys are actually saved with uh, something else, which is the second part that I want to, to show you. It's the uh, scene collection. Scene collection is everything that is here and apparently including the hotkeys. <laughs> so Gale Stream 1 is my Twitch. So this is like my main scene, my uh, be right back screen. This is just my Twitch account. And if I switch from this to Twitch Connect, for example, which is the other account that I told you about, it's gonna load up a bunch of other scenes that I'm just starting to uh, set up. So be right back screen, nothing is here, conference intermission, but my starting soon screen is here. So basically, if I wanted to stream on Twitch Connect, I would have to go here, click on Twitch Connect. Now my settings are set to Twitch Connect, for example. Uh, go stream and you see here it's Twitch and here I have my stream key and all my settings are here. Let me check the hotkeys. And here you have um, different hotkeys. So that's pretty much how you would switch in between accounts, multiple accounts, or just for other platforms, which you can also say uh, multiple accounts. So if I'm streaming on Twitch Connect, I will choose profile Twitch Connect to make sure I'm streaming to Twitch Connect with my stream key. It's selected uh, Twitch and all of that is uh, previously selected and then scene collection Twitch Connect. So this is my content when I'm streaming on Twitch Connect. And then if I want to go back to my basic uh, Twitch account, go to Gail Basic, now my settings are set to my Gil Basic. Well, you can't really see the difference because it's still Twitch. Now, if you're streaming the exact same content to multiple accounts, 
you can you can even forget about the whole scene collection thing you can just have your profiles and when you want to stream to different accounts you can just select them and it will uh, automatically change the um, streaming info here remember that facebook always changes your stream key so you always need to <laughs> to import it so that's pretty much it so right now if i wanted to stream on gale level my main twitch account i will have Gill level collect um, selected and I will also have Twitch Connect selected if I wanted to stream Twitch Connect content on my profile. I don't know why I would do that, but it's okay. Now, if I want to stream my own content on my own stuff, <laughs> my own Twitch account, I will select Gill level stream and here I have everything back as you can see. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you really manage your different live streams if you're streaming under different accounts on multiple platforms or even in just one platform uh, if you have a different method to do this exact same thing i would love to hear it so feel free to type it in the comment section below i will see you guys next time get level out